Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey. If you're new, today's video we're going to be talking all about active wear. Specifically, Gymshark. I have literally just found my love of Gymshark and I've ordered a few bits and pieces from them. I have pretty much used and worn all of these things so I can give a full comprehensive review. I'm going to show you what they look like on somebody who is not a fitness model <laughs> and I have some of the new no VPL stuff as well to share with you so yeah if you were thinking about purchasing from the summer sale which I believe is coming up next month then just keep on watching before we go on obviously I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this ring the bell as well so that you get notified of my uploads and let's go on with it I guess I'll just do the sports bras. So I have two of the same sports bras. I don't like massively full coverage sports bras because I'm quite a sweaty person and I just find that it makes me feel some kind of way. So I was trying to find like one that was a an, an medium support but gave you that sort of freedom of movement like it's not way up here or anything like that so I actually ended up getting the legacy fitness sports bra so this one is in slate lavender and this is what it looks like here it does have removable cut pads but I always take mine out I just never ever like how they look so I absolutely love the color of this one I am gonna get footage of me wearing these as well and this one sadly is a size too small i probably should to be honest i'm in between sizes i'm in between a small and a medium and it's pretty much because my boobs have never been this big before well i don't know maybe like years ago but all a lot of my weight has gone onto my chest which is kind of annoying but i was always a small and you can probably see that it's it fits fine, I can wear it, I've worn it a ton. It's still like really, really comfy compared to like a lot of the sports bras that I own, but it could have done with just being that size up. The girls shrink down, this one will be perfect. It's got that kind of open hole and it's got the Gymshark right round the sort of like waistband, the under boob band. And it's got nice thick straps and a racer back. So it is a really supportive bra. I think that they say is a medium, a light to medium support, but I get a lot of support out of this, probably because it's a size small. It was 25 pounds, which is pretty decent for a sports bra, I would say anyway. And yeah, I just really like the shape of it and that. So onto the other one, this is the exact same bra. A sports bra in the light grey colour so I anything grey for me so this is it here I just got this one today and it I haven't actually worn it to work out in yet but it is a much better size on me it's exactly the same it has the same waistband on it it is obviously a lot lighter so so they haven't gone down the route of making the Gymshark logo a darker colour as a contrast it is still in the white colour, so as you can see, it's not quite as standout y as this one. So I'm going to hold them up next to one another and just show you that is the difference in size. You know, it's not a massive, massive, massive amount. It, it does just give me that little bit more room. So that is the two sports strip bras that I've tried. Before I go on to the leggings, I figured that I would talk about their new No VPL line. So I'll flash up a photo on the screen of like the, their photo because there's I can probably show you me wearing the bralette but not the thong. These are obviously designed to have no VPL. I don't really care but when we wear our leggings they are right tight fitting so if you can imagine you can see everything. I don't really care but then I don't go to the gym and when I'm out and about I, it doesn't really bother me but if you don't want anything to show this is just absolutely perfect it says no lines just comfort v this is for the the bra uh, v neckline internal mesh layer with sewn in cups adjustable straps raw edges 75% nylon 25% elastane and this one is in the color white so obviously I'll be able to show you it as well so that is what it looks like it it actually looks I don't know it's kind of like a flowy almost like a wee boob tube type thing because this isn't attached so if I pull back the screen as such that is what's underneath so you've got almost like a kind of under bra 
and a mesh layer. It's kind of strange. So there you go, you've got the bra cups and then there's this really breathable mesh layer. It feels so, so delicate and it runs underneath as well. So it's a really weird, like when I looked at it online, I did not expect it to be like this. Obviously, I will show you this one on as well. You'll be seeing it on me. And I actually really, really like it. It's very, very light support. Like they're really, I wouldn't be bouncing up and down in this at all. It kind of just comes underneath. They are really affordable as well. This was only £12. So £12 for a kickabout bra, definitely a good idea. Next, I am going to get their briefs as well but I just wanted to try the thong first. I should have said actually, the bra is in a size medium. No VPL thong is the craziest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. It literally looks like paper. I don't know if you'll be able to get what I mean, but it it is so, so strange. I can't really describe it. It's not, it's kind of like somebody took a bathing suit and cut a pair of pants out of it. But this is a size medium. And what I would say is probably size up. Now, I probably should have got a large. I don't I don't know. I mean, it just it feels really small at the front. I mean, look, look at how teeny tiny it is at the front. I mean, what's the small? Like, that. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I think that their sizing's a wee bit off for these, but it's exactly the same material as the bralette is. Obviously, this is as much try on as you're gonna see because I cannot put myself in these on the internet. But I will put up a picture of what they have online so that so you can see it on a model. Model with a nicer butt than mine, that's for sure. So yeah, that is these. The material is exactly the same. It's a shaped waistband, low rise fit, raw edges, and it's got the Gymshark logo over here. So this is brand new as well, and this runs at eight pounds. So I mean, it's quite a lot of money for the tiniest bit of material, but when I was looking for seamless underwear to wear underneath my gym stuff, it's not it's not cheap. Definitely not cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna go from my least favourite to my favourite in my leggings. On me you'll be able to look, I am sat I am a size medium and I am five foot three to four. Just to give you an idea of where these will hit on you depending on how tall you are, how long your legs are, but I'll also put the measurements, the leg measurements, so you can see exactly where they would fall on you. So first we have the training leggings. Training leggings? The training seven eights actually, and these are in sage green. So these are, probably the softest material I've felt in a really long time. It's that kind of brushed material. I've washed these, so obviously I wanted to try all these and wash them to see how they reacted. They do have a seam at the top, they're high-waisted, they've got the Gymshark logo there and the Gymshark logo at the back. They've got sort of like a, the seam at the back sort of does like a love heart shape to give your kind of bum a contour and it has no front seam, which is good, obviously no camel toe up in here and for somebody with a big bum like me that really needs to pull up their leggings that is a really good thing these are seven eighths like i said they are like a true seven eighth because like i said i am short and they actually kick just above the ankle on me or like you know about kind of what i would call pedal pusher length and they are really comfortable i would say they are squat proof even though they're a lighter color but I found myself having to adjust them quite a lot when I was working out in them. I do save these more for like sort of yoga days or slightly less impact Pilates or Pio days, but I did find, I mean, with a lot of them, because of the shape I am, I do find I have to jiggle them about a little bit, but I found myself having to pull these up a little bit, which is weird for high-waisted. Normally I would just have to kind of jiggle them a little bit, but these ones I had to actually physically sort of pull up my legs. Because they're so soft, I wonder if they just slip down the legs a little bit. But they were, how much were these? So these were 25 pounds. So, I mean, it's not, a crazy amount of money and they are really good for that amount of money so I definitely do like them. Next is my first ever purchase from Gymshark and this was like a treat when I started working out to try and kind of motivate me a little bit but this is the Camo Seamless in Lilac. Is it Lilac? It's like Lilac Grey or something like that. 
but these are in a size medium as well. They obviously are high waisted. I think everybody at this point knows what Camel Seamless is. I think it's one of the most popular lines. It is £50 and the front of it is stunning. The material is, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the coziest, comfiest, stretchiest, most breathable material ever. It's just, they, they absolutely nailed it with this material. I love it. The, on, the only thing that I would say about it is the waistband is fantastic, absolutely phenomenal. But the front here, I'll probably show you in my try on, it's like it smooths out your tummy really nicely, but the top of my stomach isn't really my problem area. From my belly button down is where I have my little bump. I mean, it's probably not even an issue to some people, but for me, it just annoys the hell out of me. And that's the bit, it's sort of like, I get like a little bump in here. They have the little bum rouge on me. It sort of just stretches away into nothing though. Which is kind of annoying, but I guess just because I have such a massive backside. They are very, very, very long. So if you are short like me, you might be better off, unless you really, really, really want this, what's it called, this pattern, you're maybe better off going with the Animal Seamless or the new Marl Seamless as well because they apparently are shorter. These, I will show you, they run like right over my feet. I have to double them over, but at the bottom, they've obviously got the little Gymshark logo. The one major, major thing I have with these, and I would love this answered as well, Whose idea was it to put the tag in the foot? Like, mine's cut out. I need to actually go back and like take it out completely. Oh, it's coming out a wee bit more. There we go. But whose idea was it to put the tag in the foot? It, it was the most irritating thing on the planet. Bad idea. Put it just on the waistband, like normal. Apart from that, they are sort of medium compression. Because of the pattern on it, you have a really good camouflage of lumps and bumps. So yeah, I do really, really like these. These are some of my favourites, but there are just a few things like them being extra long, the tag, that little belly bit, and if that kind of all had fixes for it, these would be su 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 superior leggings. These would be phenomenal. Like I say, these are their highest range ones at £50, but well worth it in my opinion. So moving on to the last one that I have to show you and my favourite by far. So these are the Gymshark Flex 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 leggings. These are in khaki and khaki slash sand, medium size as well. And that is what they look like. They are not high waisted. They are sort of, they hit just on the belly button, just under the belly button. And they are this gorgeous sort of mild material. They are mega, mega stretchy. I would say that these are a hybrid between the training and the camel seamless. Just the way that the material feels. Like it's a softer material than the camel, but it is a, got that sort of ribbed feeling to it. It does have a sort of slight booty contour at the back, but it does just have a straight waistband. These are really, really long on me. Again, they come right over my foot. I have to double them up, but it's just dead easy to double them up. The tag is in the back of these. Thank you, Gymshark. <laughs> Not in the leg where it's really annoying. Uh, I don't get the need for these wee tags either. They're just kind of annoying, but I love the waistband on these. I would have ordered these in more colors, but they're out of stock, you know? I want the grey ones with the blue waistband, please. <laughs> but these are some of my favourites. I absolutely adore these. They're just so, so, so comfy. Because of where they sit, they pull in that little bit of my belly that I hate. I mean, obviously when I bend over, I do get a little bit of a muffin top on top of this, but it really doesn't bother me. They don't cut in at all. They just sit, the waistband sits really nicely. And it just, this, this bit obviously being shorter just makes it so that it pulls me in a little bit more. So I guess it depends where your problem areas are. And like with this panel down the side here, I find that it disguises any of my lumps and bumps. It disguises the cellulite, it disguises anything that's kind of, that you don't want emphasized, it definitely doesn't emphasize. I have a pretty big bum anyway, so I can't really say whether or not the, the design on the back emphasizes the bum because mine's kind of emphasized anyway, but I absolutely love these. These were 32 pounds for these. 
but definitely definitely worth 32 pounds literally if there was some there right now i would buy them there is a sports bra to go with these as well that i might try but you know so you can actually get a set the one to match this right now is sold out but if you like to be matchy matchy then you can actually get a sports bra to go with this you can get a sports bra to go with the other two i believe as well definitely the camel i think the training as well but i am really really impressed all of these items apart from the no vpl stuff i have worn several times I'm finding that if I am comfortable in my workout, I enjoy it so, so much more. All of my other stuff, you might have seen it. If you haven't seen my fitness series, I'll link it up or I'll link some of the videos or whatever up here sporadically through this video for you. You'll see that I do have a lot. I have like some Nike stuff. I have Under Armour stuff. I have, I'm trying to think what other stuff. I've got Adidas stuff as well. And I really like all of that. Like my Adidas sports bras, I really, really like. I'll maybe do like a show of everything that I have but yeah I think that is pretty much it for this video if you have any other questions like I said all the measurements and stuff like that will be in the description box below and I will have a video soon whenever this stuff arrives that is there are definitely lots of companies out there that try and dupe these kind of brands and there is one that apparently does very very good dupes so I ordered some stuff for to kind of coincide with the stuff that I have so we can do some comparisons so if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and you'll be notified when it gets uploaded eventually and yeah I think that's pretty much it if you enjoyed the video obviously I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up but don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye